Hello and welcome to a video series on learning Wagtail, provided by learnwagtail.com. In this little series, we are going to create a Wagtail website from an existing template. We're going to dissect the template, figure out what we need. We're going to look at it through the eyes of a sitemap, and we're not going to do a whole lot of front end work, but what we are going to do is turn a static website into a Wagtail website where you can manage all of the content on your own. I call this Wagtailifying. We're going to Wagtailify this entire template. So it's not just going to be a one and done thing. We're going to break this down. We are going to look at a footer, a navigation, a global navigation. We're going to look at how to swap out certain pieces of content, how to create a call to action, some rich text in here. And we're going to learn about some of the interesting dynamics of Wagtail when it comes to taking a design and actually turning it into functional code. We're going to go through the different types of pages as well. And we're going to do all of this from scratch. So if you are interested in learning how to make a global navigation, um, a call to action, you know, we've got a, a contact page, a miscellaneous page, we have a blog listing page, we've got a blog detail page, and I know we've done the blog thing a million times, but there's a project at the end that will help. Uh, if you're interested in learning how to do all of this stuff and work with some stream fields, different page types, categories, things like that, this is going to be the course for you. Now, at the end of this course, we are going to basically create our own project. And by our own, I mean you're going to create your own little project inside of this. So we're going to code all of this together. But this little section here where you have my projects and it's listing your current projects, where there could be a page for just your projects and, ch and child pages for all of your other projects, like one page per project kind of thing, right? If you're thinking about a portfolio, this would be a really good way to build your portfolio. So I'm going to leave this entire section up to you, but we're going to learn everything we need to know up until that point. So what you need for this little mini series is you need Python installed on your computer. You should know a little bit of Wagtail, but if you don't know very much, that is a-okay. We're going to take it right from the very beginning. And if you're interested in working with an agency or a designer, this is a fantastic way to learn how to basically turn a pretty website, or in this case, a very simple website, into a functional website. With all that said, I did not generate this website. I found this website at atlas.redpixelthemes.com. You can get this theme at atlas.redpixelthemes.com. It is absolutely free to get, or you can donate if you really like it as well. So if you're interested in wagtailifying your templates into an actual Wagtail website, I will see you in that next video where we get started with installing Wagtail and then we're going to dissect this entire project in a visual way. All right, I'll see you on the inside.